hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is Buki Sheila I'm a pattern dressmaker from Nigeria I recently moved to the UK and I've been organizing and setting up a new sewing room and today I'm very excited to show you guys what it looks like so let's get started and I'll show you what it looked like before and you'll see what it looks like presently in this video so let's get it welcome to my sewing room so I'm going to leave this here for now and I'll be back to show you what it looks like coming in from the front door my sewing room is the first room by the right and when you go in you see this area this is my sewing station slash my mini office this is my favorite part of this room because i get to spend a lot of time here and this is my sewing desk this desk is from a musical website that sells music equipment this room used to be a music studio so this is one of the things i didn't buy over here i have my laptop for when i'm not sewing i just move my machine backward and I still have enough room to do other things and this is my sewing machine it's a genome 5060 qdc with 60 inbuilt stitches and it's very easy to use and beginner friendly i have my lamp for when i'm working late at night and over here is my overlocker it's the genome 6234 sl it's a very stable machine and it gets the job done. So these are the Genomi mid-range sewing machine and overlocker. And above, I have my pegboard. These are from IKEA. These are two different pegboards screw closely together. And I have my threads here in different shades. I love to work with different colors of fabrics and that is where my my brand name came from Sheila colors because I love vibrant colors and my thread order is from Amazon this old up to 54 threads uh, yeah so when buying a pegboard you also have to get some other bits and bob to help you organize your tool on the pegboard things like hooks container shelf and they have lots of different things you can get to organize your tool on on your pegboard so i'm just going to talk about some of the ones i have so i have this container this is where i store my pen pencil some seam ripper and tracing wheel for pattern drafting and on this shelf i have my pumpkin paint orders i have this organizer that came with my sewing machine and overlocker so how this work is if you're not using the extended table this just click into this machine like this and you can easily sew or do whatever you want to do with the machine like this but i like to have the extended table on because this this gives me more room to work and i like i like it i prefer it like this so i just this came with the overlocker and the other one with the sewing machine so i just like to keep them close by in case i need to take anything out of it so over here i've got some buttons packs of buttons in different colors i've got some paper tape and clear tape i have some of these little tool you can use to make your own bias in different sizes and in this little bag here, yeah, I have some of my branding labels and sizes. I have elastic bands, some scissors, 
I have this artificial plant that dropped nicely and I love the way it had a bit of color to this space. I also bought this magazine holder from Ikea. So this can hold a book or a magazine or whatever you want to put here. So I still have some clips to hold some things. I've got this empty space here and I'm thinking of getting a board to pin some visual inspiration and so there is still enough room for improvement in this room this is just what it looks like presently and over here i have my award from fashion college i graduated in december 2020 as the best graduating student of the year so if you're watching this video from lagos nigeria you must have heard of gmyt gmyt fashion academy they are one of the best in lagos so this is how this space is organized and what it looks like presently below the desk i have my bean baskets and i have this little little eating yeah i used to eat up this room when the central eating is not on so moving over to this part of the room okay over here i have my ring light and i have this large mirror a mirror is very essential when organizing a sewing room because especially if you're someone that makes your own wardrobe or you get like you have clients coming in to try their their hat fit on so a mirror is a must have for me and i have this lovely mirror yeah and it's a really nice one and moving over to this space i have my sideboard this sideboard is from ikea this is where i store my fabrics and some other sewing material so in this path i have some of my fabrics here i really don't have much for now because i recently moved and i could not come with i could not bring my tools like my materials and other things with me so these are just some of the little ones i have for now and i say starts i hope i'll be getting more so in this drawer i have some of my ruler for pattern drafting and some books here so these are some of my machine this these are my sewing machine and over local instruction book and i have my personal diary and I think a pattern yeah so on the next drawer, I have some of my other sewing tools, an elastic band, and some other tools. And on the last drawer, I have my branding label. This is where I organize my zips, some black cups, and just buyers and some other tool i don't get to use like often and in this other part i have a bunch of threads here so if i don't have any color if i don't have the color i want in my thread holder i just come to this bag and i have a bunch of other threads here and this is where i keep them for now and this is another organizing organizer tool from IKEA. So you can put this on your table or but I just decided to keep this here for now. And I have some fashion books in here. And underneath I have my sewing machine cover and this box and I have this mannequin. Uh, I use in practicing my corner so and um, I've got some 
bone in here so this is how i organize this space and what it looks like for now so moving over to this part i have this beautiful painting i did so when i was organizing this room i have this this wall was just blank so i came across a page on instagram a guy called ian rea smith i'll put a picture for you to see i saw this beautiful painting in his page and i decided to be creative and to recreate it to do a diy project and recreate the painting so i am not a professional painter but i have always loved to try new things and i love doing things myself diy so i got a print from the range uk and i got some colors and i decided to just play around and this is what the final piece looked like i'll show you a video of what this canvas actually looks like before because it was not a plain canvas i could not find the size i wanted on a plain canvas so i bought a print and i decided to print on top and this is the finished piece. You see what it looks like before and how I managed to get it to this beautiful masterpiece. And here is my my little logo, Sheila Colors, in my branding color. So over here I've got a flower, <laughs> and in this little storage i have some of my some of some products i use for my hair care and this is where i store my hair stuff i've got some attachment there and some brushes and so this is for my hair and back to this you have to draft a pattern or cut a fabric this is how I set up this part of the room. So all I have to do is move the sideboard away from the wall, like so. And I have my tabletop on top so this tabletop is also for my care i will drop the link to to this to most of the things i've been talking about and i have my table mats that goes on top like this so so this is how this space look when the tabletop is placed on top of the sideboard to make a cutting table so this is my cutting table and a pattern drafting table i like how functional this space is because if i don't need to draft the pattern or cut i can easily put the tabletop behind the sideboard and i'll have enough room to do other things in this part so Moving to this part of the room, I have my garment rack and some of my outfits I have made this year. I brought my ironing board in just for the purpose of this video to show you guys where I place my ironing board if I have to do any ironing while sewing. So if I'm not sewing, this ironing board is always in our other spare bedroom where we do our general ironing so if i have to iron while sewing this is where i place my ironing board and here is what it looks like and behind is a window i'll show you the full view of this room thank you so much for watching 
don't forget to click on the subscriber button and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video bye